in season 15 going global. Man, I'm so excited and so honored to be here. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rich Alisea. I'm the campus pastor along with my beautiful wife, Devin, of our Temecula Valley location for Generations Church. Shout out to the Temecula Valley. Oh, man, again, I'm just so honored. I can't believe it. 15 seasons of Generations Church here uh, celebrating in October for the Movement Conference. Um, if it's okay, before I get into um, our talk, I want to share a story, if that's all right with you. And, and it definitely ties into going global because um, in order for something to go global, it has to start local. So what I'm going to share, I'm going to share um, my story and my family's story of us coming here to Generations Church. We actually came to Generations Church five years ago. So we're also celebrating five years here at GC. And man, I remember um, when we came in and, and I remember the celebration that they were having for the 10 year anniversary uh, for that. And I remember that big graphic of that big Roman numeral number 10, that big X that was there. And, and it was an exciting time. There was a whole week full of stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, go to some of the things, but it was still exciting um, as far as that our son was born our amazing son Joaquin and and so um that number 10 that number 10 has stuck with me all these years obviously coming during that anniversary so the number 10 has some huge significance in the bible um actually uh the number 10 signifies testimony it signifies the law it actually signifies responsibility it also signifies wholeness and completeness i don't know if you knew but in genesis chapter 1 uh, the phrase God said is written 10 times, and that shows the testimony of God's creative power. And also uh, the tablets, the law that was given to Moses, there were 10 commandments. The law, the man's responsibility to follow or keep the law. Uh, the tithe, the, the, literally the word tithe means a tenth, all right, which means 10% of our increase is a testimony of man's faith in God to return what is God's. And taking it over to the New Testament, man, because Jesus did some amazing things, but he healed 10 lepers. And he didn't just heal them, but he made them whole. He made them complete, wholeness and completeness. And so um, just, just, I just remember, it was just an amazing time. I just remember, I, that's just like etched in my mind, that big X, um, that big 10-year Roman numeral for here. I'm going to make a smooth transition into movies. I know I am a movie guy. I'm a sort of a movie buff, I guess, if you will. Um, so um, I want to share a movie that's one of my favorites, honestly, if not my favorite movie of all time, and it's The Goonies. You'll be like, where are you going with this, Pastor? Trust me, trust me. Stay with me on this journey. Um, it is an amazing movie. It like transcends generations. My kids love it. I, I truly believe my grandkids are going to love this movie. And so spoiler alert, I, I mean, if you haven't seen it, I mean, come on. Uh, it's, it's been out since 1985. So anyway, uh, so spoiler alert, I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of the movie and basically it's a group of friends and unfortunately in the town that they live in they're not able to live there anymore they get bought out so they have to leave um, the city the place where they grew up um, so I could imagine that they were feeling uh, sort of misplaced or displaced uh, they didn't really know what was next um, they, they, they were uh, lost even not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow because they couldn't stay where they knew everyone and they had grown up and so this amazing journey that they take, and uh, I know what you're wondering, like, that's the same movie that you're watching? Yes, it is. Um, so um, the same movie, The Goonies. So they start on this journey. They go into the attic, and they find a treasure map. And one of the characters, one of the main characters says, you know what? I remember my dad told me about that, that treasure, and One-Eyed Willie. And I know your favorite part of the movie is the truffle shuffle. And I'm not going to do it. Please, please, you don't want that. But the truffle shuffle as well makes an appearance. But the characters go on this journey of trying to find this buried treasure. And they have a treasure map, and they all come together. And the amazing part also about this movie is there's the main group, and then there's other people who get transplanted in. They, they kind of become part of the group um, as far as that. Um, and for those that have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to the Goonie, one of the main characters is actually Thanos from the Marvel series, from Endgame and the Infinity War. So maybe hopefully that gets you um, excited as far as that's concerned. So as um, the characters go on this journey, following the map, and so the amazing thing is they start to learn about each other, 
things they may not have known and, and actually begin to learn about themselves. Again, they're uh, learning. You're like, what movie is that? Yes, it is The Goonies. And so um, I'm pretty sure in The Goonies it's not this way, but on a treasure map, usually there is a big X where the treasure is, right? And so where the treasure is buried. So I can share my story and my family. So when we came here to Generations Church, um, I was lost. I'm going to be real with you. I was lost. I um, felt displaced. Uh, I felt like I didn't know what was coming next. My outward appearance didn't show that whatsoever, um, but we weren't really rooted. We didn't find a home. I felt like we weren't home where we were. And so um, I was looking for something. I was searching for something. And that treasure I was searching for, I believe, was the purpose, the plan that God had for my life. Because at that point, I didn't even know if it was going to be fulfilled, what had been spoken over me and things like that. So I was just going through the motions with my family. And, and, and we ended up here, Generations Church, during that 10-year anniversary. So that treasure, man. Holy Spirit dropped it in me not too long ago, actually. And he said, you remember that 10-year anniversary. Unfortunately, you weren't able to go, but do you remember that graphic, that X, that big number 10? He said, that was the spot right there. That's where the, the, the treasure was buried. The X marks the spot for you and your family. That's why you were called there. And, and we found treasure here at Generations Church. And we continue to find treasure here at Generations Church. Just the love that we were embraced with right away. The amazing people here, our amazing senior leaders and staff here at Generations Church. Treasure after treasure just began to be opened. And I began to learn things about myself that I didn't know before. And so we found treasure here at Generations Church. And uh, I'm going to transition into a scripture. Um, it's actually found in Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. I promise this is going to make sense. It says in the New Living Translation, it says, Let your roots grow down into him, meaning Jesus, and let your lives be built up on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. Man, I'm just so thankful for the things that I've learned here, the things that I've been taught here at Generations Church, and that I chose, along with my wife and my family, to actually grow roots, and not just grow roots, but grow roots down into Jesus. And, and, and again, we're just so thankful. And, and, and the teachings, everything that began to just be poured into us began to make sense and we began to excel. And, and, and it's just amazing to see what has transpired. But you know what the amazing thing is about a seed? Obviously, it's really small. But the amazing thing about a seed when it's planted and when it begins to take root a lot much of the work and the growth happens underground. A lot of it happens underground, and you can't see what's going on. But you know what? That doesn't mean there's not growth going on underneath there. You can't see the growth, but roots are growing down into the soil. So what I believe God has called me to share with you here is that you have to establish roots before you can see the fruit. I'll say that again. You have to establish roots before you see the fruit. And so right here, this is the choice that I made with my family, with my wife to establish roots in this house, in Generations Church, to establish the roots first and then the fruit was going to come. I wasn't, I, I truly believe I was worried about seeing the fruit before I established the roots. That's why I felt lost. That's why I felt misplaced. That's why I didn't feel like I was home. And so you may ask, Pastor, how can I establish roots? And I just want to let you know this is uh, uh, on a personal level and also on a corporate level in the local church. But I want to focus on personal, personally. How can you establish roots in your life? Number one, read. Read the word of God. Don't just take my word for it. Take his word for it. Amen. And just continue to read and, and you'll see uh, uh, just how the words just begin to open up. The revelation begins to open up in your life. How do you establish roots? Read the word of God. Number two, reside. Reside in his presence. 
reside in his presence whenever you get the chance. If you're in your car driving to work, wherever you are, reside in the presence of God because it's so sweet. You will find peace. You will find strength. You will find all that you need in his presence. And the last thing we need to do in order to establish roots in our personal lives is to represent is to represent Jesus here on earth, is to take the things that we've learned while reading his word, while residing in his presence, and represent Jesus and apply it to our lives so that others see that we represent Jesus here on earth. That's how we establish roots. And I know in this day and age, we see uh, 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 the society, culture, they like to look out, look at what's on the outside. And I'll remind you in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, it says, man sees the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. Man sees the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. The man, man wants to see the fruit before the roots are established. But you know what? God sees the heart. God sees the roots that you're trying to establish in your local church here at Generations Church. Uh, he sees the roots that you are growing down into him. It reminds me of the parable of the sower as well. There's a, there's a certain seed that just blossoms and it doesn't take root. And for a time, you're, you're happy, you're overjoyed, you're great, you're doing well. But then that does not have any roots and it gets swept away whenever something comes. A lot of times there's in certain areas, there's actually trees that grow so deep that it could withstand any storm. It doesn't matter what it is. Hopefully that's you and that's your roots established here in Generation Church. Back to our story, we began to go to get on. We began to jump on team and serve with all the amazing people here at Generation Church. We went to the different classes like Spirit Empowered Life, learned more about the Holy Spirit and the power that comes with it. Eventually going to GCMS and graduating from there. And so we were establishing our roots here in this house. In Psalms chapter 92, verse 13, you may know it. It says those that are planted, those that are rooted, establish roots growing down into the house of God will flourish in the courts of God. And those even in old age, they will still produce fruit. So all that to say for something to go global, it has to start local. And, 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 and I truly believe without the heart, without the vision of our pastors, of Pastor Troy, of Pastor Jen, we wouldn't have a global, can uh, global campus in Myanmar. We wouldn't have four more locations here in Southern California. The relationships that we have all across the globe, Generations Church is global. As you'll see some of the speakers that you'll watch during this conference, the relationships that have been established, that could not have been done if it didn't start here in this house locally so that we're reaching globally all over the world. You may be asking yourself, hey, how do I fit in? How do I make a difference? And I'm going to tell you one thing. Establish your roots first, and then you will see the fruit that will come from it. Establish your roots here. This is good soil here at Generations Church. And I truly, truly believe, just like in the movie, remember I said there were friends that were transplanted into the group. They weren't part of the original Goonie squad. Um, they were transplanted. And I believe that there will be people planted and transplanted here in this house that will be called of God to go to other nations. But first, they're going to come here. First, they're going to establish roots here at Generations Church. They're going to get equipped. They're going to get trained to do the work of the ministry here and then they're going to go out and preach the gospel they're going to go out and save those that are lost I just hope this encouraged you today again I'm so honored man we're celebrating this is a celebration again I hope you guys have an amazing time man we have so much in store for you these next few days man I hope you guys enjoy um, I'm going to close out in prayer heavenly father we just thank you we just glorify you right now father we thank you Lord for your word Father, we thank you for your presence. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Lord, that we apply each and everything that we have learned, Father God, that we establish our roots, Father God, that we don't focus on, 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 on the fruit and seeing the fruit, Father God, but we establish in the roots, Lord, and growing down into you, Father God, and then being built up and growing up, Father.
Lord, we glorify you. We pray, Lord, for this amazing weekend set out. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for the 15 seasons of Generations Church, Lord. And we pray, Lord, um, just, just, just for favor, continued favor, Father God, Lord, going global into all of the world, Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You guys have an amazing, amazing rest of the weekend. Take care.